If you're looking for the next superstar to join your sustainability team, chances are they might still be in school. Hi, and welcome to Corporate Sustainability Insights, where we share ideas about how companies can accelerate their pace to zero waste. I'm your host, Greg Beal. In this episode, we're talking about the sustainability talent pool. We are all aware of the difficulty companies have with finding good people. It is even more so in the areas of environmental sciences and sustainability. Since sustainability departments are a relatively new corporate development, many companies have staffed these teams with interdepartmental transfers and then provided subject matter training. This has adequately served the staffing needs in this early developmental period. However, as sustainability challenges along with decarbonization concerns have become elevated, companies are looking for deeper, more experienced talent pools in this department. Consequently, there is an evolution underway with corporate sustainability teams shifting from hiring broad generalists to adding specialists. According to Green Business 2021 State of the Profession report, almost two-thirds of new hires in the sustainability field are from outside an organization. To meet this need, many companies are undertaking wide recruitment efforts. Currently, 27% of all higher education institutions offer some type of green degree program, resulting in only 2% of graduating students with diplomas in this area. Between 2018 and 2028, the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a 5% annual growth rate in workers in the sustainability field. Meeting the demand, many universities are ramping up the curriculum. Schools like Utah State, the University of Idaho, the University of Illinois, and UC Davis all offer over 20 different green degree programs. Vanderbilt University took a significant step in this area last March by launching a major program in climate science. So there is a bright outlook for the future. However, it may be five to seven years away before the supply of well-educated sustainability talent meets the corporate demands. What do you do in the meantime? If in the short run the talent pool is projected to remain thin, go where most of the best candidates will be. One suggestion would be to heavily recruit on campuses that are, are the leading sustainability schools. Another idea is to add a third-party partner to your team, someone with, with experience in the area of zero waste and sustainability. This added consultant to your team also brings insight from having worked with other organizations and may provide unique solutions to your situation. In summary, the educational expansion efforts combined with climate change effects signal that net zero and sustainability efforts will be a significant part of a company's operations for a long time in the future. We also know that many of the initiatives instituted at a company as a result of sustainability efforts also have tremendous operational benefits and add to the bottom line of an organization. The good news is that educational system has recognized the need for well-trained employees in the field of sustainability and has stepped up efforts to produce more well-trained graduates. The bad news is it may take several more years for them to catch up to the growing corporate demand for these future leaders. If you'd like a complimentary consultation meeting to discuss ways of enhancing your current team with an experienced consultant, please drop us a line at okapienvironmental.com. Thanks for watching Corporate Sustainability Insights from Okapi Environmental Services. I'm Greg Beal. If you want to see new sessions on additional sustainability topics, please hit the subscribe button below. Also, add your comments on this episode. We always appreciate hearing your feedback. And lastly, if you'd like more information on us, please visit okapienvironmental.com. Remember, Corporate Sustainability Insights is where to go when you want to accelerate your pace to zero waste.